this is the sixth video in my do-it-yourself mini foundry in a coffee can series. In order to melt any metal, we of course need a crucible to put into our furnace. One of the best options is to simply order a graphite crucible off the internet and you would also of course need uh, a crucible lifter in order to lift it in and out of the furnace. There are other options though. Another option that's fairly simple and open to anybody is to get a uh, four to six inch uh, pipe nipple threaded in two inch and a threaded pipe cap in again in two inch. Screw the pipe cap very tightly onto one end of the pipe nipple and you will have uh, a crucible that will be reasonably durable. The alternative I chose here is to take some pieces of uh, <coughs> scrap steel pipe and uh, I very roughly cut out with a hacksaw and grinder a round flat piece of eighth inch steel such that uh, it can be welded into the bottom here. At the top I've drilled uh, a couple of uh, quarter inch hole such that I can stick a uh, short quarter inch bolt through and put a nut on on each side like I'm doing here because of course we've got to be able to lift this thing in and out of the furnace so I have a quickly made lifter here and uh, it does hook on and uh, allow the crucibles to be uh, picked up and uh, maneuvered. This one I've used a couple of times to melt aluminum, that's why it's of course so heat discolored. You can get away with melting aluminum in a thin uh, tin can, but uh, tin cans are so thin that the steel in them doesn't last very long in uh, the environment of a furnace. So a tin can isn't really the best uh, option. You need something made of thicker metal, whether you use a pipe nipple and pipe cap or uh, you can uh, make up your own from lengths of pipe if you have uh, access to a welder or have a or you have a buddy who welds make sure that your chosen crucible lifter gets a really good and secure grip onto the crucible because of course spilling melted metal for any reason could be uh, quite disastrous your crucible holder should be able to get a good solid no slip, no chance of the crucible falling out, hold. As you can see here, I can wiggle this around quite a bit, and uh, the crucible does not fall off my holder. In the next and final video in this little series, we'll be putting everything together melting and pouring some aluminum and some brass.